Our multifunctional coil called CPC is an 8-channel coil that can be widely used for many applications. CPC, by the way, stands for clothespin coil, which is based on its looks. The CPC generates tremendous images and has been used for motion studies as well. It can be found in areas such as orthopedics and pediatrics. Therefore, the CPC is mostly used in settings where the clinical emphasis lies in imaging smaller body regions such as joints, the inner ear, the orbita, knees, or as mentioned above, general pediatrics applications. This is achieved by the internal components used to manufacture this multifunctional coil. This animation gives you a quick overview of the various body regions of which the CPC has already been seen in use. Ears Eyes the jaw, teeth. Later on during this presentation, we will also see a segmented image from an MR data set. The CPC has also been used for imaging the plexus brachialis. The elbow, finger, wrist, knee. Here you can also see an example of positioning aids which we can create for you based on your requirements. This also shows how the CPC has been used for motion studies. Another wonderful region to use the CPC for is the carotid artery. The ankle. or the foot. The CPC consists of its two shell halves and the base frame. In order to properly image these regions, the very flexible shells and base frame can be easily positioned and aligned in any plane possible. To gain a more flexible positioning, a vacuum mattress or dedicated positioning aids can be used. Now, let me get a bit further into the physics of the CPC. The specialty of the CPC is its small single elements with a diameter of only 50 millimeters internally with very high sensitivity close to the coil surface. We will see later about the high signal-to-noise ratio when we take a look at the signal-to-noise ratio maps and plots. Two halves, or shells, containing four channels each, with a total of eight channels, surround the object to be measured. Due to the high sensitivity of the small loops, the CPC offers highest resolution acquisition and offers a field of view or penetration depth of approximately 190 millimeters for both halves. This is still enough for knee image. The signal to noise ratio or SNR of the CPC was determined using a multi-slice method and measured on a 1.5 Tesla Siemens Avanto by utilizing a homogeneous bottle phantom. 
Later on, the signal-to-noise ratio was compared to the CP flex coil by Siemens, which is of similar size and offers equal flexibility. This was done by measuring the signal-to-noise ratio and signal-to-noise values determined in the center of the phantom. This image shows the coil positioning of both the Norris CPC coil and the Siemens CP flex coil. These graphs illustrate the SNR comparison of both coils. The blue graph shows the results of the CPC and the red graph shows the results of the CP flex coil. The CPC shows a maximum signal to noise ratio of 836 and minimum signal to noise ratio of 85, which is in the center of the phantom. The maximum signal to noise ratio for the CP flex coil equals 230 and a minimum signal to noise of 24. The signal to noise ratio for the CP flex coil in the center of the, of the phantom equals 118. To summarize, the Norris CPC has a significantly higher signal to noise ratio at both edges while the CP flex coil of Siemens has a homogeneous signal to noise at one edge with a lower decrease to the center of the phantom. That is compared, of course, to the Norris CPC coil. However, the average signal to noise of the CP flex coil is much lower than that of the Norris CPC. If normalizing filters are used, the homogeneity of the resulting images can be vastly improved. Again, one can see that for smaller regions, the CPC gives you a very high SNR. This enables the best use for highest resolution imaging. I hope this presentation was helpful to you and that I was able to spark your interest in our CPC. If you have any questions or if you are interested in more detailed images and imaging sequences, including animal studies, please do not hesitate to contact us.